Hi guys, so I'm just doing an everyday makeup look. Um, I use this Clean and Clear moisturizer as a primer actually, which is kind of strange, but I just love the finish it gives my foundation. So next I'm getting my mirror out, and I'm going to go with my foundation. It's the True Match by L'Oreal, and with my Beauty Blender. And honestly, the color is not for me anymore because unfortunately summer is over and I am very white. But I'm just going to work with it, blend it down my neck, and I should probably go buy a new one soon, so... Next, I am going in with my eyebrows. I'm using the Tarte Let in Bloom. It's one of my favorite palettes, it's very well used. I use Activist, and honestly, it's the perfect color for my eyebrows. I can't find anything like it, and I have no idea what I'm gonna do when I run out, so yeah. So the brush I use, I honestly bought it on an art supply store called Curry's. It was probably a dollar and it's the best thing I could ever use. I don't really redefine my eyebrows, I just kind of fill in the sparse areas, make them more straight at the bottom. Yeah, so use your imagination for this part because I literally can't record myself apparently, so yeah. Go me. Next, I'm using the Dior Eyelash Primer, and I saw on Nikki Tutorial's video if you put this, works better than eyelash, whatever, I mean, eyebrow, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, okay. And honestly, if you told me to kill a man, I probably would, so that's why I do it. So I'm going back in with the Tartelette and Bloom using Charmer. I swirl it around all over with this brush from Anastasia. I really like how it sets my eyelids. Makes them stay all day. Me deciding what to do now. <laughs> so my NARS bronzer, I love it so much. It's called Luna. I'm just going in. I use it to darken my crease when I want to do a natural look. I just feel like it's the perfect color for it. Sorry, I don't know how to use a camera apparently. going in. And I use the, I almost get in the waterline when I do this, which is kind of gross, but I really like how it looks in the end. So yeah, that's kind of what the crease looks like. And I'm going to use my Becca highlighter just to accent some areas. I'm not going to go too crazy because it's a natural look, so. I put a little bit in the center of the eyelid and in the corners because I feel like it opens up the eyes. So next I am using the bronzer to bronze up the face a bit, not really contouring. And I just use this huge fluffy brush. I bought it at Shoppers and it doesn't have a number or anything on it. And I use this beauty blender and make sure it's wet obviously. And I just kind of make it a little bit more blended into the skin with that and I add a little bit of powder but not much. I just use kind of the excess foundation that's already on the beauty blender. So yep, highlighting the nose. I think highlight on the tip of your nose is the cutest thing ever. And I'm using my e.l.f. Um, blush palette. I love this palette so much. I just think it has such a beautiful finish. I love mixing different colors in it. Going back in with Champagne Pop, I use my fingers, it probably makes my foundation move everywhere, but you know, that's life. 
I don't know why I'm dancing like that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so I wouldn't even call this nose contouring. I kind of like almost warm up the nose, if that makes any sense. I just feel like it looks very flattering. I don't want it to be plain. Going in with the same eyelash primer. I really like it. I got it with my points at Sephora. Oh my god, I'm using Better Than Sex Too Faced. I rave about this stuff, honestly. I just feel like I don't even need to use an eyelash curler or anything. It just like makes them long and like plump. I don't even know if plump is a word to use right now. When I first started wearing this, people asked me if I got eyelash extensions. I just feel like it's so worth the praise. at the bottom. I don't like to add a lot at the bottom because I feel like it can just look kind of gross throughout the day and you can get like a dark circle. I use coconut oil on my lips. I should have done this way earlier because my lips are so damn crusty, you know, because it's winter and I like to torture myself using liquid lipsticks every single day. I'm using this because it has more yellow tone. I feel like my foundation it looks really pink right now and I only use a little bit. Wow, beautiful. Okay. Going in with my Wet Beauty Blender, just evening it out. Oh wow, I left. I'm so good at this. Okay. Okay, I'm back I guess. Okay. I'm trying to get rid of all my gross skin, but at this moment I realize I can exfoliate as much as I want or do whatever and I'm just stuck like this, so I'm just going to try to cover up with another liquid lip. I love this color so much. I feel like it's just like a darker, deeper version of my natural lip color, if that makes sense. It's Lolita by the Kat Von D Liquid Lip. It's so flattering. I think it can look good on so many different skin types. Yeah. Just waiting for everything to dry and settle in. I'm going to use my Urban Decay. Sorry, it's so gross, but my setting spray. It has foundation all over it, ew. Okay, so this is the moment I realized there's literally none left, but like, I didn't want you to think I'm a broke bitch, so I pretended like I was using some. Ew, ew. Just gonna fix that up a lot a bit, because I don't want to get too crazy. So I'm gonna contour my collarbone, because I think it looks so pretty with tops like this. And why not beat my entire body instead of just my face? Like, what else am I here for? So I love highlight, like, on the shoulders and collarbone, so that's what I'm doing. This is Champagne Pop. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but yeah. I'm just bringing you in. Showing you what I got going on. Decided I need more highlight in that moment. Hello Nikki Tutorials, why am I referencing you so much? I feel like Glowy looks so pretty with every look. Bye, thank you for watching!